Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at more advanced textures, uh, some of the preset textures that Maya gives us for free. So I have three spheres here. Uh, I'm going to select one and to assign a new material I'm going to hold down right click, assign new material, and click on Arnold and then standard surface. On the right we have the tab for standard surface and before in my previous video we were looking at how you can change color. But now let's look at some more advanced textures. If I come up to the presets, this is still while I'm on the standard surface tab, if I hold down presets you can see that there's a whole bunch of presets um, and different things that we can choose from like chrome to velvet. So if I go to chrome and slide across here to replace it's going to be black, and that's just because it's in the editor here. But once we render, Arnold render, uh, you're not going to see anything until we have a light source. So why don't I just add um, a light here, Arnold lights. I'll just lay down a physical sky. So you can see now that I'm just going to brighten up that physical sky. You can see that that is now chrome. Uh, I'm going to choose a different sphere and hold down right click assign new material Arnold and standard surface and this time let's choose something different so if we want to go to velvet and replace and you can see that kind of feels more like a velvety texture right so uh, any of these textures can be changed you would just click on um, find the color or possibly something else that has to do with color in one of these drop downs to be able to change that to something different. So um, it's great that any of these textures can be modified if you want. Now, um, one last one. Notice I can also, and this is a great thing, um, I can actually click in the renderer and it will select the shapes. I think that's very interesting. So if I hold down this one, uh, sign new material, and I'm going to go to Arnold and standard surface, we can look at a different one here. And let's see, I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, assign Chrome, but look what you can do. We can actually mix these preset materials together. So if I hold down presets again and I go to brushed metal, I can blend 50% brushed metal with the chrome that I already have. And you kind of get this. Let's see what blending 90% brushed metal will do. And you can see. So uh, same with the velvet. I could decide to mix maybe 50% car paint with velvet. So those are interesting things that you can do with textures, mixing them. Uh, I'm going to look at the plane now that's underneath them, assign new material, and Arnold standard surface, and maybe I'll just mix that with um, something shiny like a gold, and replace. And you can see what I have now. Uh, so these are, um, oh, and I'm just going to look at one last one, and we looked at this I think in a previous video, but um, if I assign new material to this, Arnold Standard Surface, I'm going to look for the incandescent bulb. And this is a great texture for adding a light source. So let's say I rotated this above my objects. Let me get this out of the way. You can see the light source here, and I'm going to make that brighter. So this texture, it's Arnold at Standard Surface 7. As I said, you could name these. So what if I did want to call this light, then I would know later on. Uh, I, I forgot to press enter, but you can change the names. So here I'm going to go down to emission, and this is where we can change the weight and the brightness. The weight is the brightness, and you can see now this is a texture that's a light source. Now, when, once you have a whole bunch of textures, where is the texture manager? And what if I wanted to see all of these textures kind of in a bunch so I can look at them, edit them, maybe delete some if I wanted to? Well, that's up here. If you come up to um, 
Windows, General Editors, you will find the Hypershade. Um, just the Hypershade, I think maybe it's in, oh, it's, sorry, it's in Rendering Editors, Hypershade. You can see it's this little ball with a maybe a little light source on it. It's actually here too, so it's right on the shelf, so maybe I'll just click it from here. And this will bring up the Hypershade. This is all of the textures that you've worked with so far. You can see uh, these are all of the textures that I've assigned in this scene. So it's a great place to look at, and you can change the numbers right over here in the sliders. Uh, so this was the gold. If I change that, you know, from right from here, maybe to pink, pink gold. Let's see if that does that, and let's see if it updates it. Yes. So. Uh, that's uh, some more advanced textures using Arnold standard surfaces and the presets. Good luck and give it a try.